Hey, good evening, folks. Uh, it's your boy, the G Flash, with uh, Saki Master One and Can Dog. Hello. Uh, hi, hi. All right, so uh, we have another desert themed uh, special banner. And from the looks of the silhouette, oh, one of them I already know who is going to be. Now, since this uh, title is Nabata Shield, I have a feeling who's going to be on it here. So, uh, without further ado, let's take a look at this desert banner. And yeah, go ahead, Tati, play. There we go. All right, here we go. Oh, okay, so it's an Epi Six. The, the music Epi Six. Wait, who's this? It takes a lot of practice to wield Again. two blades at once. What the? But I put in the what? effort. What? Altinga! Oh my gosh! She's got. She's got. What? what? Oh, Bulwark Four is here. Let's go. I, I am. I'm speechless. Like this is her, like her fourth alt now. By now. <sighs> Damn. This, this girl is getting popular by the day. End of the road. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, who's this? I fight this so that someday Juno. children okay. will be free to grow up in peace. Oh, okay, so she's from Binding Boy, so that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, the, uh, ult, attack, defense, ult force here. Okay, that's good. At least it's finally here, you know? Yep. For the children. Okay. I used to live in the desert with my what, friends in the Lagoo's Emancipation Army. This is a Radiant Dawn Got character. It. Okay. Yeah, I don't know who this guy is. I know this guy. Um, on one. I know this, who this guy is. This is a little joke. He's our. He's the god. But. That's a really nasty animation, though. Huh. Whoa! I can't okay. believe I get to fight beside you, Lady Louise. You've become such a wonderful woman. Louise and I green. Okay, such that's a fun. unlikely like combination that I'm I am with of. you. Pulse off blades? What the heck? Wow. Okay, so that means um, we know who is going to be the TT reward. Yeah, we. it's pretty much obvious. We are invincible. Oh my God. This trail is so long. I'm just going to skip to this. Such fun. I get, I get the boy. You must win. Oh, you know me. Okay. Yup, there's Hawkeye right there. He's a light unit. Okay. That's a good change of pace, I will say. Ugh. All right. So that was an interesting selection of units, I gotta say. So let's go over each one of them. So first off, we got Altina. Now, is this so funny? This is the fourth version of her now. <laughs> like, yeah, that, she's that, gotten I so popular over the years. It's uh, it's kind of insane, but I don't mind it. I mean, Tacho is absolutely gonna gush all over her. I know that. I mean, didn't she like when a hero rises? The first one. Uh, she yeah. did. Yeah. That's probably why. Yeah. <laughs> also, I love how like her outfit has an ab window because this is all Tina we're talking about, uh, the goddess. She? So she needs to show off her abs. One way or the other. 
I'm trying so, to think. I'll see next. Oh, so we have Christmas, regular yep. this, and then summer, summer version, and now this version. So, yeah, okay, Jeez. so uh, she's an axe infantry unit wielding dual blades, dual uh, axes inside instead of swords, which is a good change of pace. And uh, let's take a look at her kit. Okay, so Arcadian axes, minus one special cooldown. Uh, unit, okay, so dual phase brave weapon, distant counter, which is what you would expect out of an Altina nowadays. Uh, at the start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than 25%, inflicts attack defense res minus X on the foe during combat. X equals 20% of unit's res at the start of combat plus 5. Okay, so rest check. And also, if foe's attack can trigger a foe special and unit's res inflicts Okay, so the scowl effect, basically. Alright, so Altina has minus one special cooldown, dual phase brave weapon, and then a rest check of uh, attack defense or res debuffing on the foe, uh, and then the scowl effect, which is good. Alright, and then arms of three. So I'm guessing this is Vaughn or her, I think. So yeah. when special triggers boost damage, okay, so this is kind of like twin blades in a way. Uh, boost mm -hmm. damage by forty percent of her res and new uh, and uh, oh damn, she um uh, cuts the damage the dr skills. So nullify dr, that's really good. And then at star combat, if her special's ready and her uh, res is greater than the foe's rate, right, uh, reduce uh. Oh, okay, so then she gets a 30% damage reduction. So, like a mini dragon wall instead. Okay, that's good. So, she is basically twin blades, but better. So, 40% uh, of her res damage, and then cut DR, and then the dragon wall 2.5, basically. So, that's good. That's good. Alright, and then she's got uh, attack res finish 4, which is good. And then the Bulwark 4 skills. All right, let's see what's going on with Bulwark 4. So, foes with range equal 1. Okay, we know that. F range equal 2. Cannot. Okay. Inflicts attack defense minus 4 on the foe. And reduce damage on foes first attack by 40% during combat. And then heal 7 HP a unit after combat. Okay. So, they added the, the damage reduction right there. And then the debuff. Uh, okay, um, this is good, I will say. So, now the Bulwark skill isn't just like an obstruct. It also gives you some damage reduction, and, uh, and then the, the healing at the end. So, that's good. And then finally, she's got a time pulse 4. So, uh, Altina is definitely gonna be a really good enemy phase, like, um, dual, like, uh, brave unit. So, yeah. lower foe stats and slows activation of their specials. And then holds foes that made with defense and healing. Okay, that's basically all yeah. Tina in a nutshell. All right, mm. next up. Uh, can you, well, can you, no, you want to do Juno? Okay, so Juno I is think, a sword flyer I, this time around. And go ahead, Knock. Tell you, do you want to do a Juno? Any other, any unit here? Actually. Wait, is that up there? Uh, I, I'm not sure. He, he should be. Anyway, go, go right ahead, Ken Dog. Okay, well, I'm gonna just do this. So we got Juno here. I'm going to look at the skills. She's a sword flyer. Um, I'm just gonna wait for this. Alright, sword flyer. Alright. <clears throat> Okay, we got Blade of Sands. Uh, uh, special cooldown minus one. Start a turn. If, if you is within two spaces with ally, speed plus rest. Being rest my two plus six. Really good. Bone stone. Really good. No pack. Really good. Just something solid. Some solid supportive capability she can get on anyone, which is always nice. And and then here's the and, and if you initiate wait wait hold on. If you initiate a combo within two spaces, plus five to all stats, and you just, it gives no fall basically, and 20% of unit speed. So it's just a really simple and effective weapon. 
And the skills we got is Lunar Guard. Attack, defense, oh, which... It took them that long. I'm like, God, oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> and uh, the star of the show for me, Guard Bear, so we don't have to kill Ingrid. And that's really nice. Yep. Okay, so I'll, let me read it now. So, Blade of Sands is Monosome's special cooldown. If units within two speed ally grants, speed rest ball six, visible ball, bonus doubler, and no panic to unit and allies. Okay, that's good. And then she initiates combat or the two spaces. Also has plus five. Uh full on no follow-up. And then goes there, you go 20% of unit speed. Okay, it's a pretty simple weapon, but uh it can make it work. And then Luna, Guard Barry 4, and def attack defense old 4, which is long overdue. Okay, that's really good. So Juno is going to be a solid lance. Uh, that no, a sword flyer this time around. And then her uh, little description is nullifies the panic status on nearby allies and grand bonus to their stats and reduce damage. Okay. I, 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 gee, I am so tempted to do Tormod just for the one, just like a little run of joke for me. For okay. This guy. All right, so. Tormon is that, and he's a Radiant Dawn character. Now, I don't know anything about him, so uh, he's a Red Infantry Mage. And uh, if you want to do him, Kendall? Uh, let me see if Tommy want to do him. Tommy, you want to do him? I guess. You want to do him? Actually? I don't want to do anyone, really. Okay. So I can do him? Uh, just whatever, man. Just whatever. Okay. All right, look. Well, I'll do this one. All right, yeah, go ahead. All right, Tor Mod. He, he is. This guy's a chat for me. Oh, uh, that was your beacon. So basically, it gets. It's a pretty simple effect. Um, if you is within two spaces of alley, cannot be slowed by terrain. Does not. And does not um, passable to and desperation to use for one turn, which is really just a really solid weapon for a free to play unit. <laughs> and units and basically if units nature is kind of within two spaces, grants plus four to all stats and plus it deals damage of ten percent of units attack, which is really solid. And we get Deconic or Speaker's Temple, which is really solid just for um when we get speed red temple four, so we can fall on him off and speed red yeah. Yep. Pretty simple. Yep, pretty much. Okay, so that's Tormon. Uh no, not Tormon from Game of Thrones, even though they share the same name. Uh this Tormon is a like an energetic boy. Okay, and his description is you can move through forest and other terrain without effect and follow up immediately after attacking. Yep, pretty much. All right, then we have the Man, star of the banner, um, which is a pairing I did not even expect that will happen. I Green and Luis. Now I Green makes sense because this is a Nevada desert, so I Green is from Nevada, so she's got to be here. But Luis, that was kind of unexpected. So they're a blue bow infantry unit which we don't have a lot of those though um and uh this is what they have sand glass bow uh minus one special cooldown sr turn one grand special cooldown count minus two okay so super quick impulse sr turn if units within two spaces of an ally grants the following to unit and infantry and armored allies within two spaces Unit cannot be slowed by terrain. Oh, wow. Okay, that's good. And unit can move one extra spade. Does not stack for one turn. Oh, wow. So extra movement and cannot be slowed by terrain. That's good. If a uh, unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of ally, grants attack speed plus six, deals damage to a 50% units of attack, including with an AOE special. And also, one special trigger deals damage equal X percent of unit speed. S equal units, max special cooldown count times 10 plus 10. Wow, okay. So she grants good support of uh, extra movement and moving through terrain tiles. That like that's forest, basically. 
and trench tiles. Well, no, not trench because they don't. You, this don't work on cavalier. It's just infantry and armor units. So forest tiles mainly, uh, and then. Extra offensive deals damage based on the maximum special cooldown basically and then true damage equals their, their attack. Okay, so that's good uh, And then she's got blazing wind flash sparrows sp uh, Speed you at 10 before made a return again, which is good and the pulse of blades At start of turn grants attack speed plus X to unit for one turn X equal Turn number times two, maximum six, and grand special cooldown minus one to unit. Wow. <laughs> okay. That's a interesting way of, uh, <clears throat> that's an interesting times pulse, I gotta say. So not only you gr get the time pulse effect, but you also get offenses based on like the, the turn number, basically. That's very interesting. And then uh, their weapon allows powerful A AOE specials every turn. They grant movement and nullify terrain effects. Yup. And then their harmonic skill is resonance blade, treachery, and desperation. So that's pretty solid. And uh, yeah, they just nuke this get on good gap, <laughs> which is funny. And then of course we have uh, Hawkeye, aka the dude with no nipples, as Brotel will say back in the day. But now, Hawkeye is so buff that you could see it now. So, we're gonna get mus muscular man Hawkeye as a TT reward, who looks like a Lance Infantry unit. Um, and this is really good because we need more Lance Infantry units than Axe Infantry and Sword Infantry, because Lance Infantry it's still the least amount of class type that compared to all the infantry like melee weapons so having more of that will be really welcome i mean the last one you had was ninja ninja, uh, ninja festival saizo so let's have more and yeah, we'll uh that'll be good so mm -hmm. i'm gonna guarantee you hawkeye's weapon is gonna work like uh uh tormon though so I'll like move through terrain tiles with desperation. Although I'm not sure if Hawkeye is supposed to be slow in this version or is it fast? So we'll I'm have to see. Slow. It's gonna be slow. That's my guess. Okay. This no was slow. Yeah. But we'll see what Hawkeye brings them. And the Tempest Trials like seals as well. And uh yeah, that's basically it. Uh, this banner is very interesting. If you like Altina, and, uh, <laughs> I agree with Luis, then they're the standouts. Uh, otherwise, Juno is just okay and solid, and Tormon is just an easy, like, uh, summonable merge project. But I know everyone wants Hawkeye, because the guy hasn't got an ult in, like, seven years. So, it'll be cool to see how, how it turns out. So, um... Uh, yeah, so that's basically... What's up? Oh, okay. Yeah, but yeah, that's basically the banner. So, hope you enjoyed our analysis. Let let us know in the comments below. What do you think of this desert banner? Are you going to get any of the units? and Or are you going to scout out like what other banners are coming forward? Also, if you like what I do, please like, share, and subscribe if you want to see me do more of those videos. With that being said, I will see you all in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, and this is your boy, the G-Flash, signing out. Peace. Peace.